Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good today. Man, just taking a little break here. I'm in the middle of uh, map creation for Fish the Moment on our lake breakdowns that I'm, we're doing. Uh, in the middle of all this, takes a lot of focus. These, a lot of these, we put a lot of work into these maps and sometimes you just need to take a couple minutes of break to sort of get your mind back to, or your brain back to normal state. So I just wanna take a couple minutes here and do today's YouTube video. Uh, you know, I get a lot of comments by people, you know, wanting topics, and I think a lot of stuff myself. And the one that's been coming to my mind a lot is the whole topic about um, surrounding social media, particularly YouTube, is and it, as it relates to fishing, it's like, um, would you rather be educated or entertained with the information that you get out there? And to me, you know, this whole topic is sort of like an interesting study in human behavior because it extends into every part of our society. And I've always been somebody that enjoyed observing people and trying to learn from them and studying human behavior. And this is a big part of it. And when you get to that topic about people, would you rather be entertained or educated? It goes over well beyond into fishing into every aspect of our life. And for example, take, uh, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians. That's the most, you know, mindless show anybody could possibly be watching in, in your world. There's, there's nothing redeeming or nothing quality or ed educational about that show. All it is is just a, a bunch of drama, dumpster fire about, you know, just things that don't make any difference in life. Yet these people have made a, a fortune off of it. I'm talking a couple of them are worth close to a billion dollars you know, putting out content that has zero redeeming qualities whatsoever. And then you've got some television shows, like you'll have some super, super educational television shows, like, uh, you know, maybe NASA will put something out on, uh, you know, the universe, or you, you have some, uh, you know, different shows as far as like, you know, describing life on our planet, as far as the oceans and the, you know, the Arctic and that type of stuff super, super educational programs, and they get very little interest. So it's been, it's been my uh, conclusion, and I think it's a pretty obvious conclusion, that as a society, and in anglers in general a lot, is that, you know, we would just rather be entertained than educated. And uh, one of the things that uh, stands out a lot about, you know, people that uh, tune in to Fish the Moment, you know, the stuff that Johnny and I are working on, Fish the Moment, and even my own channel, is that, uh, you know, yeah, we may have a little bit of entertaining qualities, but basically we're not that entertaining. We're educational. I mean, that's, you know, the, the stuff that I put out on my YouTube channel, you know, I try to, I'll, I'll put out some stories once in a while that may be educate or entertaining a little bit to some people. But most of the time, it's some type of a tip or information. And the same with Fish the Moment. Um, you know, we really are sort of hardcore informational, educational type uh, social media. So the the subscribers that we have, that I have, and that Johnny and I have with Fish the Moment, um, you know, tend to be different than a lot of people in society in the fact that, you know, you all want to be educated and over being entertained, and that, and that says a lot right there as far as, uh, you know, the, the the type of people that we're getting to watch, you know, our, our shows. But anyway, you know, this whole thing, it's like, uh, you, you look back at professional fishing, and so many of the anglers that have stood out uh, over the years, I mean, they're pretty entertaining for some reason. For, what, for whatever reason, they draw a lot of attention to themselves. You know, they have personalities that um, are, you know, animated a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit controversial. And uh, people gravitate to that. I mean, people gravitate to, uh, you know, to being entertained, whereas they may, they may not put out much educational information. And then you can have somebody out there, another angler that is, maybe their personality is a little bit more subdued. Um, they're not, they're, they're just not very entertaining yet they put out a tremendous amount of good information that can be absorbed and learned from, and they just don't get that much attention. They don't get that much media attention. They don't get as many sponsor opportunities, and uh, that's sort of just the reality of life, not just in fishing, but in, in a lot of the uh, social media uh, 
you know, situations that we have today, social media, television, that type of stuff. So that sort of tells us a lot about, you know, human behavior like that. And, uh, you know, so where does that leave us, you know, is the thing about it. And I think a lot of it is like, you know, people, they need an escape. I mean, the, life is hard a lot of times. I mean, there's a, life can be challenging, it can be difficult. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we all just, you know, need a mindless escape, you know, to get away from a little bit. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Um, I think that you can go overboard with it to where, you know, you spend too much time on it. But, you know, I think in, in the bigger picture, it's a matter of balance. You know, you need to balance, you know, the, the content you absorb, you know, in a, in a balance of educational and entertainment. Because, you know, you don't want to get too serious about life. You know, life, I, I think a lot of people take life too seriously. And uh, you sort of need to mix it up and have a, have a good balance of both. But anyway, just a short little topic today. Uh, in my conclusion, in the fishing industry, uh, you know, bass anglers for the most part would rather be entertained than educated. Um, you know, the ones that are out there that, you know, want to be educated, you know, I invite, invite them to come and, and watch some of the content that we're putting out on Fish the Moment, some of the stuff I'm putting out on the channel here. And, uh, you know, keep your comments coming, you know, keep your comments and your interest coming because that's, that's one thing that provides us a lot of, uh, motivation and interest and, you know, ideas on what to move forward with. I mean, we pay close attention to it. I mean, you know, myself and Johnny both, we pay a lot of attention to sort of the vibe that we're getting from, you know, the, uh, subscribers as far as what they're wanting, what they respond to, what they don't respond to, because, you know, we're trying to, you know, put out a quality product and, and do some good here. So anyway, hope you're all doing good. I'm going to get back to the map work here. Um, I know I keep promoting it a lot, which is fine because it's a lot going on with it. But, you know, if you guys are uh, ever in need or up for a, you know, a really good lake map, lake map breakdown, you know, we, we we're doing them for lakes all over the country. Got them up everywhere. Go to fishthemoment.com, check them out. And also tonight uh, we got our, uh, uh, our weekly podcast we're going to be doing on early uh, on areas for early winter fishing on Clearwater Lake. So tune in tonight, fishthemoment.com, seven o'clock central standard time. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good. We'll check in later. See you.